Hello again YouTube and welcome to another lockdown video. So today we're testing another of the cycling apps. Today I've gone full gas. Full gas. I've heard of this one before but I'll be honest with you I hadn't really understood what it was all about. I thought it was a little bit like um, trainer road or something like that or you know ju just one of these cycling trainers that's more sort of like data and you know sort of just presenting screens of data and stuff like that uh, but when one of my facebook friends saw that i was doing a review of ruby the other week they said you ought to give four gas a go so uh, i've downloaded it and i'm going to give it a go now so as i've said i'm working my way through these um cycling apps and i think now is a really good time to do it to be honest with you because one well there's a reason to ride indoors we all know what that is two uh a lot of these companies are kind of giving sort of free trials uh so you can really give it a go yeah. be without sort of committing any money up front which is really good um and three well why not discover a new thing for me there's kind of an irony uh, in that we are locked down, but I have never been so many places on my bicycle. Um, for example, yesterday I did part of the Kona Ironman course. Note to self, if I ever qualify for Kona, don't do it. Um, today I went to Grasmere uh, in the Lake District and rode from Grasmere to Ambleside. Lovely ride, know that one really well. We go up there on holiday practically every year, so I know that route really well. Um, and then, of course, I jumped onto Zwift and uh, went round uh, Watopia uh, for a good 50-ish K with my tri club this morning. So you see, this is the deal. I know it's a killer. The weather is fantastic. Blue skies, sunshine. When does that ever happen? I mean, for Christ's sake, when was the last time we had an Easter weekend like the one we just had? But you know what? It's time that we were all adults about this. And um, do you know what? One of the best quotes I heard this week, the absolute best prevention for COVID-19 is your front door. So bear that in mind. Anyway, um, personal preference, as I've said before. So yeah, I'm getting a lot out of these cycling apps and uh, I thought I'd give this one a go. So we've also got some others in the queue behind this one. I'm gonna go through the Watt Bike Hub uh, it's a little bit niche, so that'll only be for anyone that's got a Watt bike, I think. Um, but there are others I'm going to try as well. You know, I want to try Trainer Road, Sufferfest, uh, all of these things. And I want to get in, you know, whilst we're under lockdown and whilst I've got the opportunity to try them for free. Full Gaz lets you ride a variety of cycling routes um, using video captured first person view video. So essentially you get the feeling that you're on the bike riding the route. So you could think of it a little bit like Ruvi but without that odd sort of avatar sort of thing going on in the background. I'm running it through Apple TV 4K. So it's a fair test because all of the apps that I've tested as part of this series have been tested on the same setup. Now, one of the things that I like about Forgas is that they've got a ton of routes that you can ride. And even better, they've got some routes that I actually know, so that's a really good test. Um, like all of the other applications, they're very training focused, so there are a range of training programs that you can try, you, you know, from beginner to, as they call it, keen. Uh, and that would be for things like FTP, uh, climbing so I think that's really nicely thought out um, I did try the uh, Iron Man Kona route yesterday and as I think I said in the intro uh, definitely if I ever qualify for Kona I think I'm just gonna let that one pass me by now one of the things that um, I found about uh, full gas with my particular setup is that the Apple TV 4K it's got this kind of really weird thing where it'll only take I think it's two Bluetooth inputs so what full gas tries to do is it tries to use the uh, one of those inputs for the trainer which is really important so that's your priority I think with with any of these things your first priority has got to be your controllable trainer it then looks for cadence, so um, it took the Watt bike 
as cadence as well, which is odd because uh, I think Zwift uses it, it just pairs kind of controller controllability and what and cadence and power all in one just through the watt bike. So okay, this just does it slightly differently. Um, but then what that means is, or what I found is that you're then positioned with this choice between. So what do I use the other Bluetooth input for? Do I use it for cadence or do I use it for heart rate? So when I did the Kona course yesterday, I chose cadence um, because I'll be quite honest, at that point I hadn't realized that it wasn't going to use heart rate. You know, it was going to kind of choose between cadence or heart rate. So I went with... Uh, with cadence, so I had no heart rate data from that. But I do think that that, it's a little bit weird. Like I say, Zwift can do it. Zwift can do all the controllability of the trainer. They can do the cadence, they can do the power, and they can get your heart rate. So, uh, you know, maybe just something for these guys to play around with, or I'll be honest, maybe I just need to play around with the settings. Now, talking of settings, one of the things that I do like about this application is the, um, the number of things that you can tailor. I mean, things that other applications simply haven't thought of. For example, how much does your road bike actually weigh? Or what's your aerodynamic drag? I mean, God only knows how you'd go about figuring that, but hey, wow, that's a lot of data. So, you, you know, it kind of smacks of professionalism. So let's go for a ride and see what that's like. So the videos are available, some of them in 4K. Um, I think the majority of them would be 1080p or 4K. I've chosen just to stream down in 1080p because I haven't got a 4K monitor or TV, so it'd just be kind of wasted bandwidth, to be honest with you. Um, and the quality is is cracking. I've got no complaints whatsoever. Um, now, given that this is a video, it's it's actually better than the Ruby videos. I think the Ruby videos look like they've been shot from a car. So you can see that you can see where you're riding, but it doesn't feel like you're on a bike. With the full gas videos, they've clearly been shot from a kind of first person view with a bike camera. And that really comes across. Now I'll be honest with you, with all the applications that I've used so far, I've never really been drawn into that first person view. I've always much preferred seeing the avatar for some reason. I don't know why that is. It just kind of draws me in a little bit more. But hey, you know what? The first person view on this is really engaging to the point where you just get or I was just getting drawn in by it. Absolutely love it. Now, I think some of that probably is because it's been shot by a cyclist. It feels like you're on a bike. You can relate to it. You know, you even get like the road noise and the noise of cars passing by. So that's really, really good. Really like it. I also like the way that they present the data on screen. So over on the left hand side here, we've got a panel of data. And one of the things that really impressed me is that, yeah, it connects with the what bike gears. So I can instantly see what gear I'm in. And in a way, that's a little bit better even than Zwift, because Zwift will tell you when you've changed a gear and it'll tell you what gear you've changed into. This is showing you currently what gear you're in. So, you know, you never really forget with Zwift, it, you, know, you know, it's kind of a little bit, just change a gear and see where I am. Oh, yeah, I'm in 13, you know, I'll go 14 or whatever have you whereas you always know what gear you're in with this so the panel on data on the left hand side is really really clear you've got the panel of data on the right hand side as well really just it's useful it's just the stuff that you'd want to know um, so I think that that's really nicely thought out one thing that I wasn't expecting as I rode this uh, shall we say Grasmere to Ambleside route is that um, I kind of a little way into it there was suddenly a sprint so there's there's kind of a little bit of gamification going on obviously not to the same level as Zwift um, but some gamification going on all the same I'd like to explore that a little bit more um, so yeah overall I just think this is really really engaging um, and you, you know I think it was useful for me actually to use this Grasmere to Ambleside route 
um, because it's like I say, it's a route I know really well. Um, so it's a good test of, and, and <laughs> I've ridden a bike along here a couple of times, a few times in fact. So, you know, it's a really good test to think, did this feel like that? And yes, it did. Really, really engaging. So let me summarize like this. I think the video is really engaging. The way it's presented is really engaging. I think the road feel is probably one of the best I've felt out of all of the interactive applications I've tried so far. When you hit an incline, the resistance builds in a very real world sort of way. Um, there's a little bit of gamification going on, so you know it kind of talks to the the Zwift geek inside of me, and um, yeah, just uh, really well thought out application. Well done, Full Gas. So at the end of the day, what do I think about Full Gas? <laughs> I am blown away with how good that thing is. Really. Um, okay, a couple of technical issues with my setup. I guess that's the what bike, the Apple TV, you know, but yeah, what the hell, it doesn't matter. The experience is fantastic. I love the interactivity of the video. I love that first person view. I love the fact that they actually are using videos taken from bicycles. It feels like riding a bicycle. Um, you get the road noise, you get cars coming past you. It just, it, it's immersive, it really is. I also like the way that they present that data. Uh, like I said, you know, the data fields I think are really strong. And for me, you know, the fact that it picks up the gears on the Watt bike, that's a real winner. So I guess the acid test for all of these things is, would you buy it at the end of the free trial? And with full gas, it's a definite yes. Well, guys, you're going to get a subscription from me as soon as the free trial ends because I absolutely love this. So many courses to ride. The interactivity is brilliant. The road feel is brilliant. Um, the way that it controls the resistance is subtly different to Zwift, subtly different to RGT, definitely different to Ruby. It's in a class of its own. Nice job, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching this one, and um, if you like what I'm doing here, uh, please like it. If you like it enough, please subscribe, that always helps, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.